It stopped. <laughs> Are you on? Yeah, we're on. Not experienced at these things. I thought I'd show you the most charming thing, but I haven't cranked up properly. It plays 10 tunes. Yes. It's Swiss main. Yes. It's um, early Victorian, isn't it? 1880s. Oh, okay. It's Victorian. It's Victorian. <laughs> David's trying to crank it up. Okay. okay. David, up here. Up here. Up here. Up here. Hello, uh, everybody. Amanda here. Uh, we're here to tell you once again about our forthcoming auction, which is on the 4th. It's on the 4th of the 4th, 2016. It will start at 6.30 as per usual. And as per usual, we have a number of interesting items in the auction. There is, as always, I hate to sound so cliche, but I guess I am. There is something for everyone. Including, so, including me. Well, the, if that's what you like, yeah, what can I say? Two things I really like <laughs> in the, the auction. The music book, uh, book box yes, It's a very nice thing, very nice thing. But... Uh, on a different scale, so is the painting with the lovely Aboriginal Dick theme. Dick Ruffy, there's two of those. Yes, this one over here, and there's a couple more over there. And, of course, a couple of lovely chairs there next to the music box. She is really charming. She's only plaster, European, but I think it's gorgeous. You really need to find a nice shade to go with that. I like the ones right behind I you. She's just lovely. The ones I forgot to take down. <laughs> they are okay. beautiful. Don't take them down. I won't take them there, down. They're up there. I just want to show them something in here. Oh, it's a Christophe. That's very nice. Oh, it was very nice. No, it, it is was. very nice. I didn't do anything. Uh, it's, anyway, that's, yeah. that's beautiful and a beautiful uh, condition. So there's that. There's a tray up further in the room. And there's a um, canister here. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what that's for, but it's rather sweet. It's beautiful. There's, of course, a number of silver items in here. Lots. And throughout all the cabinets, Lots. there are heaps. I'm over here. I'm not that short, David. Uh -huh. I am there short. There you are. Hello. Short. Thank you. Yes, thank <laughs> you. Um, uh, more uh, European bisque figures. Uh, really good quality Capo di Monte here. That's a very nice early one. Fantastic assortment here. Lots of estate jewellery. Oh, and you heaps, see heaps, heaps, heaps. There's a nice sovereign over there. There's ladies Rolex, uh, Italian bands. That's a George Jensen yep. um, um, choker yep. style necklet. Um, Let's walk around the room. There's quite a number of substantial pieces of uh, amphora. And royal ducks. And royal ducks. Yes. yes of a camel ride is good if we reach the other side of the room. If we get to it, yes. yes. If we get to it. What about that stunning rare Russian painting? But apart from the Russian painting, I really like this. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. This is actually a dressing table. Hang on. How do you open it? I forgot. There we go. This is actually a dressing table. But I think nice. it makes a, a really wonderful hall table, um, sofa table, even a TV table. I think it's very a nice, nice, nice solid thing. There's a couple <clears> of very nice um, bedside cabinets as well that are of the same quality. And pianos. Mm. This is a gorgeous thing. Yeah, bohemian one. It's a beautiful bohemian bar. 1890s. A little bit of gilding, uh, gilding is going, but you know, if it's you look at it, it's an oldie. I'm 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 about a quarter of that less, <laughs> and I've got a few bits missing. <laughs> but you told me you're only thirty nine. Yeah, well, no, no, I didn't. That's only your imagination. Okay. This is attributed uh, to my Russian's not the best, but please look it up. It's lot seventy five. Beautiful painting. A it's, good Russian. We've got artwork. full. We've got full problems from nineteen thirty eight onwards. Well, it's been uh, cleaned and um, the frame has been regilt and made nice and solid all over again. I'll show a close up of his signature so everyone can see. There we are. Keep and, going that uh, way. These candles, uh, candles, uh, beds, uh, b b lampstands are also. What's quite the word? Lampstands, <laughs> candlesticks, lampstands. <laughs> lamp bases. Lamp bases, <laughs> male and female. Even the mirror's not bad either. Keep going around the room. I actually like this. This was sold at George's. Yes. This is Portuguese blue pressed glass, and this was sold at um, the old George's in Collins Street. And it was very so expensive in this day. It certainly was. It, a, a beautiful colour. There's a few more pieces down there as well. Okay, walk this way. If you follow me this what way. About the, what about the uh, rosewood table? That's nice. 
Yeah, who's that by, David? It's a Norwegian one, uh, retro Norwegian. Estimates $30 to $50, and it's really good condition. And who's the maker? Oh, I've got the maker in the catalogue. You can't remember. You can have a look at the maker, lot 156 in the catalogue. It's worth about 1000 to 1500 US overseas, but we're, we're here to sell. And, of course, a lot of interesting bits and pieces in here. Uh, Alessi bowl. Uh, Ainsley urn, I like the cinema box, the um, shower period Japanese Satsuma vases. Kosane. A oh, Kosane, not Satsuma, sorry. <laughs> Another gorgeous ducks figure. This I think is really cute. I think it's a uh, title uh, Mum, Dad, and Me. Nice. Which I Peter Brown. Very cool. More early Victorian silver top perfume bottles. We have um, some fabulous jewellery we forgot to take out again. Oh, no, never mind. We, we have to we leave have them to there. We have to look at the um, website. Yes. Ivory is always ivory. Yes. Nice little David Boyd. Evan Mackley. Charles Blackman. Now, you said that was the flying nun. I think that's called the flying mum. <laughs> Who knows? Somebody will correct us. I don't know. And this is the other lovely uh, artwork by Mr. Ruffsey. What was the name, David? Dick Ruffsey. Dick Ruffsey. Quite like it. And of course, a sweet pro heart. Yes. And when you look in here, you'll find an awful lot. Th and it's not an awful, awful lot. It's a good lot. lot. Awful lot of estate jewellery. It's a good lot of estate jewellery. You post for that. Do you think I post for that? Yeah, that's what you're going to say. But I knew what you're going to no, say. No, my behind's better than that. <laughs> I'm not giving the public any. I, I like this. I like this. There are twelve sterling silver napkin rings very that nice. have been beautifully looked after, and these are very interesting drinks numbers. There's three different sets of them. Yep. Uh, right up to fashion glasses. This is um, Italian. Italian, nice big piece. And this is Teasdale. Noel Teasdale. Very I think, no, not, I think I'm trying to remember his name. I think it was Noel Teasdale. A Teasdale. Yeah. And oh, this is the best. This is the best. Look um, at the size of it. This is the best one. I think he's rather gorgeous. Yeah, it's stunning. Original silk ribbon there, too, with it. Ah. Oh. It's beautiful. And walking this way, there's a. Charles Head is a vase, William Ricketts piece. William Ricketts. Nice big Moorcroft vase. Beautiful Some Italian sculpture there. there. This, I really like this. This is a very nice Murano um, vase, bowl, whatever you want it to Sendisi. be. Sendisi. And this um, racing trophy. Yep, that's nice, very nice. Coming from the estate of Pinney, wasn't it? Yes, William. There's about three uh, uh, impressive estates that have come through, and there's about eight. David's going to talk to you now. Oh, I don't want to talk anymore. What was I going don't to say? Don't show us your bald spot. There, there are <laughs> numerous of the estates in the auction. I'll, okay, I'll move this way. <laughs> and there's about uh, content from eight different houses around Melbourne. So, a couple more things I wanted to show you. Over this way. Walk this way. Or maybe walk this way. Actually, chair and desk is quite nice. Which one? The one right there that you walk past. That one. Yes. That one. That's, that's quite a nice. nice. As well. I know. I know. Um, you're not sure about these, but I love these inlaid Iranian boxes. They are very good quality. Yeah, uh, and signed by the makers as well. Can you see that? And there's also an inkstand. And I like the cane, the glass cane. Yeah. Don't break it. I, I don't know how strong it would be, but. People would have used these. That's a good colour. Yeah. The um, person using that one would have been quite tall. I think it's a very tall person. Yeah. Uh, what, what are those books there, David? Uh, uh, they, they were a oh, picturesque atlas of Australasia from about 1886. They're but in what, very good condition, aren't that's they? That's what impressed me the most. Totally original condition, no rebinding and no loose pages. I've never seen it uh, set in that condition before. So somebody really cherished them. They did. It's been the same family since the 1880s. I was going to show a couple more things here. This way. Hang on. 
<laughs> Tell me if I'm going straight. Yeah. Don't knock anything yeah. over. I like this. What do you think about this? Don't don't tell them about that. Oh, I want to bid on that. Don't okay, tell them about I won't that. Tell them about this little Victorian circular shaped uh, washstand and bedside, and it has a lift up top to it. Or top pedestal. Top. Yes. The most important thing is when's the auction? Fourth of the fourth. Fourth of the fourth. What time? Six thirty. And the viewing? Twelve till six no. on the Monday. Oh yeah, Monday, <laughs> the 4th, 12 till 6. I'll look it up in the and website. And the viewing on the 2nd of April will be 11 till 4. Which is a Saturday. The full catalogue, all the photos, and more information is on the website. It's all there. www.aaauctions.com.au Otherwise, we'll see you at the auction, and we want you to come along, bid, and pick up a few good buys, or pick up some things and overpay we don't mind as long as we'd you like you to overpay we yeah. like if people overpay but there's some really good things and everything in the auction is priced to sell the estimates are low so why shouldn't you be here there's no now wish them now tell them what date it is today today is the 24th, 24th. tomorrow is good friday yeah, and we're still working but everything is going to be on our website god willing tonight so over the long weekend they've got plenty of time to have a look Come along to the auction. We'll see you there. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs>